Hello and welcome to today's video. I just got off work, so if I look completely exhausted, um, it's because I am. <laughs> I was just tucking in my keyboard. Um, anyways, I ordered a couple of things from Funko and from Loungefly. Unfortunately, they all come in the Funko.com slash Loungefly boxes, so I'm not sure which package is which. I suppose I could look at the order number and match it, um, but <laughs> that sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> so we're going to open the boxes based off of how they were stacked in my office, and this one was on top. <laughs> trying to see if I could figure out, like on Christmas morning when you're trying to figure out what's inside of your, your boxes. I think this one might be the Funkos, and this one might be the bag. Yeah, I can't really tell. Um, it's hard to say. So we're just going to go with this one. Like I said, that was already my plan. And we'll see what's inside. So you're going to get to see a Funko Pop and a Lounge Fly haul today. Let's get it started. easy to open. I was wrong. This is totally the bag. Oh my goodness. Okay. I am so excited. And uh, this one took a little bit longer to get to me than they typically do because I ordered an item that wasn't a part of the launch. So it took longer. And I do have some tips and tricks as to how to get things that are going to sell out really quickly. So I'll make another video about that here pretty soon because I was able to get... comes with the dust bag now. I was able to get the Snow White sequin bag. I was expecting there to be another item in this box. I don't see that anywhere. Maybe they shipped it separately. I don't know. I'll have to take a look. It was a little bit confusing. They may have shipped it separately. Maybe it's in this other box. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, this is the Snow White Princess sequin, the last in the series. She is finally here. You all guessed correctly. It was going to be Snow White. I didn't think they were going to do Snow White since they released the Snow White ears for the Disney 100 celebration, but I was wrong and it was, Disney. Uh, it was Snow White. I have some theories about this bag that we'll go over as well, but let me get her out. Really quick, she's not wrapped in paper. Typically when they're in the bags from Loungefly, they have tissue paper and then they have the plastic, but she doesn't have the tissue paper. Instead, she has one of these little plastic things that I got in my last haul. Hmm. Has an interesting smell. I wonder if this was near this the strawberry shortcake bags at all because it kind of smells like strawberries. Very interesting. Hmm. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna give myself a headache. Anyways, here she oh my bow is crooked. <laughs> okay, I fixed it. Here we go. You've got the little apple detail on her bow and the gold stitching down the middle of her uh, top and then the yellow front pocket for her dress. You do have the blue Disney lounge fly plaque on the front with the red background and on the sides of the pockets you have her sleeve detail on either side. These are functional pockets. Gold hardware and on the back of the bag it says mirror mirror. The fact that it says mirror, mirror and not magic mirror is a little bit controversial because it's on the part of the backpack that no one will see. I don't really care that much, but for the, the Winnie the Pooh Heffa Dreams backpack, on the front of it in the blocks, it's spelled out H-U-N-N-E-Y and that was incorrect. So I could not get myself to buy the Winnie the Pooh Heffa Dreams bag. 
Um, for most of you, that may not be a big deal. For me, I just couldn't see past it, so I decided not to get that one, although it is super cute, and I was able to see it in person, and it glows in the dark, which is a bummer for me because I love glow-in-the-dark bags. On the zipper pull, we have a little birdie. Super, super cute. And the colors are really vibrant. She's really bright in person. On line, it's really hard to tell for a lot of the bags what they're gonna look like and if they're going to be something that I want to purchase, which is why some of them I have to see them in person first before I make a decision, unless they just like are clear standouts and I have to have them, then I'll get those as well without seeing them in person first, <laughs> like this one. I knew it was gonna sell out and I would be so upset with myself if I let it do that without even trying to buy it, you know? This is the inside. You've got a pie. I'm guessing that's a gooseberry pie. You've got the magic mirror, and then there's a little birdie in there with the leafy branch detail. I love the white trim, actually, um, and how it breaks up the colors. Already have some threading issues. I don't want to pull on that too much. Okay. <laughs> I love the light blue with the little red drops. Uh, some people said that it looks like blood drops, but I don't mind that. <laughs> as disgusting as that sounds, um, I don't mind. I don't think that because I know that her dress has the little details. The top isn't sewn in very well though, so you can already see a little bit of bending here. I would encourage you to be careful when you use this to make sure those don't get snagged on anything. Um, when you're taking it on and off, like let's say if you're going on a ride, for example, you don't want to bump it up against anything because that will bend. Let's take a look at the inside. We've got a slip pocket on the inside that's smaller, so it's not like the ones they've been releasing previously where it goes all the way down to the bottom. That's what the interior looks like with that pocket. It goes to right here, so right to that tag, whereas some of the others go straight all the way down to the bottom. I love that the color of the lining matches this blue color as well. It's just more of a matte finish than the sparkle, which is pretty cool. Yeah, she's super pretty in person. I love the bow. I really wish it wasn't crooked, but what are you going to do? <laughs> Sometimes she'll sit straight. I wasn't sure what I was going to think about this bag. Um, Snow White is not one of my favorites, but I do think that this is a really beautiful bag. It stands out from the rest of the princess sequin bags that have been released, of which I have Moana, Merida, and now Snow White. I'm wanting to purchase now the Rapunzel one. I slept on it. <laughs> I didn't get it when it came out and I've been regretting it ever since. I think there was even a re-release that I didn't participate in and then the more and more I thought about it, I was like, man, I really should have got that bag, but I didn't. So I'm waiting for a restock um, to see if they're going to do one. And anytime you purchase a full price bag on Loungefly's website, they do come with a free dust bag now. And I saw one video where the backpack was actually in the dust bag. And then I watched another one who got this backpack from the UK, I believe. And she didn't get a dust bag at all. So I think it's regional. I'm not sure you'll have to take a look on the website to see if your area qualifies for the free dust bag. Um, I did get a keychain as well, and I have to look and see if it's still on its way or if it was supposed to be in this box because I do not see it still. Do you guys want to see what's in the Funko Pop box? I'm really excited about it, actually. I want to see if I got any Chase Pops. Let me really quickly put away Snow White, and then I'm going to open the Funko box and show you guys what I got. All right, are you guys ready for the Funko Pop haul? <laughs> I told myself I wasn't going to collect Funko Pops and then I got a Powerline Pop in the bag pop bundle. 
from WonderCon. Oh, here it is. I found it. <laughs> and then I just couldn't help myself. I started collecting all of the Avatar The Last Airbender ones. Um, I've been looking for the Willy Wonka ones, but of course those are really expensive because they came out a, a while ago and I suppose they were limited edition. So I missed out on them again. <laughs> But these are the ones that I'm adding to my collection today. And eventually I'll find a place to put them. Right now they're still in their boxes. In, a, in their big shipping box. Or a random box that I found because I bought most of them at WonderCon. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look. Okay, let's see what's in this first one. Oh, this is the one that I got for my boyfriend. It's Machine Gun Kelly. He likes the music pops and they're kind of hard to find. At WonderCon, there was only a few booths that had them. And I got him some Post Malone ones while I was there. This is the MGK Machine Gun Kelly pop that he wanted. I think it's super cute with the pink. He's not a pink person, but he likes MGK. So I think he'll be really happy with this one. And it came in its own box. That's kind of cool. So he gets to open that for himself later. <laughs> okay. Next up we have paper. Okay. Looks like they all came mostly in their own boxes. Except for one that I'm really excited to look at in just a second. If I can figure out how to open them. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to have this one. It's Thumper. <laughs> I saw this and I think he is so freaking cute. When I was at Disneyland on Sunday, Easter Sunday, I asked one of the cast members if any of the Disney bunnies were going to be around for a meet and greet um, or for like some interactivity. And he told me that Rabbit from Winnie the Pooh and the Easter Bunny were going to be there, but he didn't mention anything about Thumper. So I was kind of sad about that. And um, I just went over to California Adventure after I found out that he wasn't going to be there. I could have waited around to see if he showed up, but it was really hot and there was a lot of people there that day because it was a holiday. So I think they all had the same idea as me. <laughs> They thought maybe because it was a holiday, not a lot of people would be there, but I was wrong. <laughs> so there's that one. And this one, it's pretty cool how they package them all individually. Okay, I got another one for my mom. She'll be happy to have that one. She's not collecting pops, but she mentioned that she liked the way it looked, so I decided to get her one. This is the Disney 100 Walt Disney with the Mickey Mouse um, is Steamboat Willie drawing. This one is so cute. I like that it's black and white, and then it has the Disney 100 labeling here. Let me go ahead and pop him out really quick. Gosh, he's so cute out of the box too. Look how precious. Little Disney with his little steamboat Willie there. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. I love it so much. And his head moves, or his body, his body, however you wanna look at that. That is so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I decided to get that one. And I love that his packaging has like this holographic labeling on it, on both the front and on the back, and this little sticker too. So there's that. Oh, I dropped something. Ah, it's a soda. So um, for a limited time when you purchased over, I believe it was $65 on Funko.com, you would get a free pop soda. And so the only one that was left was Winifred Sanderson, and this is what she looks like. We were hoping for, um, we were hoping for Jimi Hendrix, but he was sold out by that time. And there may be a chase in here, so I'm really excited to get this open. And it looks like it was limited edition. There was only 25,000 made of this particular pop. So I'm gonna set that aside for now. 
And this one I'm super excited about. It doesn't look like I got the Chase version, but that is okay because he is super cute anyway. It's Baymax with a butterfly. <laughs> He's so freaking cute. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And apparently he's an exclusive. I believe this size is super. I don't think he's, yeah, I think he's super. You know, they go all the way up to like mega, which is freaking huge. And I don't, I already don't have space for these. <laughs> Let me see if I can pop him out of here really quick. I don't know if I really cared to ca collect the other characters. Um, I do see they have Hero and all of his friends, Wasabi, Honey Lemon, Go Go. I don't see his brother. He wasn't really a character, but that'd be cool for them to include him. So for this Baymax with Butterfly, the Chase version is a diamond version. And diamond, if you don't collect pops, just means that he is full of glitter. Oh my gosh, he has some weight to him. <laughs> so this is what Baymax with this little butterfly looks like. He's so cute. Oh my gosh. I love it so much. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty hefty. Okay, looks like there might be a little issue here. But it's on the back of his head. I don't know how much of a problem that's going to be for me. How cute. Yes, I was really hoping to get the Chase version of him because I love glittery things. Things that shine. Um, but that's okay that he's not. I was pretty happy to have him anyway, regardless if I got the Chase or not. I don't have any Big Hero 6 lounge fly bags yet. I have been looking for them. There haven't been any that are super eye-catching to me. So I'll be on the lookout for those. I don't know how many more they're going to release, but I'm definitely looking forward to having more to choose from. There was a metallic version of Baymax in his protective suit or his armor. And I considered that one, but I didn't know how I felt about metallics until I got the Iron Man and the Captain America bags. No discounts. Bummer. But they do offer free shipping right now. Um, if it's over $50, I believe, which is really easy to get to. Okay. Let's move on to the soda. I'm not sure what the Chase version of her is going to look like. So we'll have to see if she looks like her little um, image on the back. If she looks like this, then she's not the Chase. Winifred Sanderson, one in 20,900. 20, it looks like a little pog. Look at how cute she looks in her little animation there. So we did not get the chase version, but that is okay. Still a little weighty. Um, so that's definitely tells me that it's pretty good quality. Yeah, this is really cool. This is the first time I've ever got a Funko Pop soda, um, but the can is really cool and definitely collectible. I suppose her Chase version also has a broom. You can see there, um, it says Chase with a question mark and you've got a little stick on the side. So I'll have to take a look and see what the Chase version of her looks like. Also a Funko.com exclusive. Very cool, oh, cute. I love the Sanderson sisters. I don't know how I feel about the second movie. You'll have to tell me how you felt about it. But I was glad to see them all together again. I'm really happy that I was able to add this bag to my princess sequin collection. 
I knew she was going to sell out because of how much people were talking about the bag before it even launched. Everyone was expecting it to be Snow White. They were ready for the last bag in the series. I wasn't expecting it to be Snow White because I thought it was kind of obvious. I was hoping it would be someone non-traditional like Raya or um, another princess <laughs> other than Snow White. But I understand why they did it. because She's the first princess that Disney released in animated form. So it totally makes sense. I get it. And I love her. And I'm so glad that I have her in my collection. But that does it for today's video. Thank you so much for sticking around. This has been kind of a long video. I do apologize for that. But I hope you had fun. I had fun. I love sharing these items with you guys. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye.